After watching this video, you'll have an understanding of how the card game core asset functions and how you can use it for your needs. Card game core project architecture is specifically designed for creating card games, with the main game reference being Hearthstone. The features of the asset include a complete sample project with small decks for testing, including some of the standard cards, tools to expand decks, create new card units, spells, artifacts, and heroes, game table with animations, visual effects system, and sound effect system, redraw card screen, game log, deck table, Starting off with the main menu, we can move to the deck assembly. Right now, there are two races available in the asset. We can filter through the card types here in the top left corner. Let's create a new deck using the human race and call it Forest Fury. I will drag a few spells and units here. But there is something missing right now. I want to add a taunt card to my deck, so let's do that. To achieve that, I will go to the content folder for the corresponding race and card type. I want to call my new card Orc Guardian. So to keep things organized, I will create a subfolder with this name. Now I need two more things, a factory logic and an info file for my new taunt card. Let's click create scriptable objects, unit logic, and select taunt. I would also need a unit info file. And don't forget to add this to an addressable group. For that, we need to tick the checkbox here in the top right corner. Let's copy the ID and paste it here. I will quickly fill this in. Let's click Asset Management, Addressable, Groups. We can see all our cards here. Let's drag our new taunt card in the corresponding group and choose the labels. Now we can return to our deck selector and see our new card. Let's add it to the deck. Now we are ready to go. Right now, we can see that our decks are limited to 10 cards maximum. Also, we have only 2 card duplicates in a single deck, but we can easily change that. We will go to the configs folder and find the file named deck settings. Here we can set the allowed size of the deck as well as the amount of duplicates available. Let's set it to 15 cards and 3 duplicates. Now. If we go back to the deck assembly, we will find that the new deck will have those settings applied. Your old ones, however, will not be affected. Since we have our deck assembled, we can start playing. As we choose our hero and deck and the match starts, we see the redraw screen. If we want, we can choose the cards to redraw. The gameplay features include all of the basic mechanics for card games, and you are free to explore it further. There are animations included in the asset, as well as basic visual effects. AI model to play against and test your decks is also included. Important notes. Card Game Core asset has a set of complete cards, among them Charge, Stealth, Taunt, Healer, and other units, different spells, and two heroes to begin with. To add new cards, you would need to write some code 
However, the architecture of the asset is very flexible and it should be easy to do that. Understanding of C-Sharp, Unity 22, addressable groups and dependency injection is required. Good luck! Have fun with the asset! We hope it helps you to boost your card game development.